the problem really is in the urban environment. There is this need to be sterile and antiseptic in where we live. We live in the tropics. We are expected to have a certain number of insects everywhere we go. But anytime someone finds a bee, there is no alternative besides kill. My name is Carl Baptista and I used to kill insects for a living, but I quit doing that to save bees. I'm a biologist and I've actually always just really enjoyed working in biology. Around the end of last year, I met a few people who talked to me about bees and the problems of bees in the urban environment. That got me on this chain of how do we look at insects differently. Pollination is an organization that looks at preserving local, native, pollinating insects. It's not about saving all of them, it's about finding ways to coexist with them. When we started the bee evacuation service, our bee rescue service, a lot of the calls that we get would be people saying, oh, I've got bees on my tree in my house. And a lot of the bees are stingless. So they're actually quite safe to have colonies of these bees in homes or schools. A bee evacuation is really a vacuum, and it sucks all the bees into a container. I cannot reach in. Oh man, I got stuck, big time. My hands. So it's gone now. I got a couple on my chin. Now, not all bees will kill you. Bees don't care about humans. They only care about flowers. But if you piss one off, they're gonna retaliate. Sorry, I got the message, but I've been, I just finished the bee vac. I just went and shoved the bees. If a beehive has been rescued, if the species can't be domesticated, then we take them out into the primary jungle, away from the public, where they get released to go back and do what they do best. Go, girls, go. Find a new home. Go back to the wild. Are you listening to me or not? All y'all are doing is making funny buzzing sounds. Why are you doing that? if the species can be domesticated, then we will domesticate them, put them into a box, and send those boxes to the crunchy countryside. They'll produce about 20 to 25 kilograms of honey a year. We hope to be able to generate our own unique Singapore honey. We have in the tropics a wide variety of flowering plants. So we can get very unique honey combinations between types of bees and types of crops. One dollar on the refill, okay? So come back. If you think about a beehive, you must think about it as one super organism with many, many different parts and functions. I mean, it's phenomenal. Just to think, one teaspoon of honey was 12 bees' lifetimes. My objective of pollination has not been the honey. For me, it's always about broods opening it up and seeing a healthy hive. For me, it's just joy. If you can create a unique environment where both pollinators and plants are interacting, I think we'll see a much prettier Singapore. That's true sustainable green spaces.